Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how I wired up my GY6 150 motor. And these are the components that I'll be using. Now, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on telling you exactly how to wire this up. I'm going to use this diagram. Each of the uh, colors that you see and the name for each of the colors is actually a wire that's coming from each of the components and then going to one of the other components. Uh, most of you guys aren't going to use this or, or, or this may not be that important for you. So this is just a quick overview of, of how I wired it up and if anybody needs more detail they can stop the video and and uh, and explore a little more into how I actually ran the wires for each of these components. Now here's the actual components in place. This is the fuse block and that's going to come directly from the battery and then you see the CDI and the relays. Now all the wires every single connection that I made I soldered and used heat shrink around them uh, to make sure that they couldn't come apart later and this is where most of the wires are coming from and the wires were too short so what I had to do was add about 16 inches roughly onto uh, each of these wires so again I soldered and heat shrinked all of them I then end up using a connector. I got this connector from Radio Shack. It's a 12 pin connector. And that comes mainly from my the light controls, horn, light, uh, and, and directional. And this is a, just a guide that I'm using to help me wire up the other side. Now a couple of reasons I put this quick disconnect in, uh, these plugs, is first of all if I do need to change the component at the handlebars uh, it makes it easier. I can disconnect it from this location without having to cut or, or, or you know figure out how to disconnect it. Also for testing, by having this plug I can either test on the side of the switch to make sure the component is working or on the other side to make sure the, the, the components are working or the wires are, are ran correctly. So now I'm wiring up the other plug. Now this one comes from all the components on the engine side. I'm plugging in the start switch and then the center one is for the lights and all those components and then the top one is the kill switch. Now I'm crimping on all the ends. Again, I, I crimp the uh, heavy ends on and then all the other connections I solder and then I use uh, electrical tape to protect it. Right now I'm getting it ready to fire it up for the first time. I don't have a battery yet so I'm just going to try to kick start it. I 
again here it is just it's ready to, to kick start I don't have everything connected these wires here that I have in the front are the wires for the lights Now I went ahead and wired up the turn signals, so the wires I just left uh, rolled up uh, in both places, in the front end and the back. Uh, probably not going to hook them up, but at least they're there. Uh, these are the uh, 10 amp fuses, and I'll change the labels on this later. And then this is the uh, the wiring underneath the seat and underneath the gas tank. Now this is the place where I'm going to put the battery. Um, right now I'm just going to hook the battery up, but I'm going to show in a later video the brackets, how I made the brackets. I'll also show how I made the brackets for the headlights too in a later video. I added a little hydraulic cylinder for the uh, seat to lift that up uh, to keep that out of my way when I'm working underneath it. So this is the finished wiring. I've got everything wrapped up um, and secure. My charging system is putting out uh, like 13, a little more than 13 volts, so that's working good. And I'm going to show you uh, starting it up here. ready to go. All set. Thanks for watching.